Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic at ViaCritic.net, and welcome to my media channel. And I'm making this video primarily because on Christmas Day, while I was doing my rounds of Christmas calling and things like that, I was talking to the guy who was uh, my best man, and his kids are like my honorary nieces and nephews. When I was visiting him in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, we went to see Marcel the Shell with shoes on. It's a wonderful movie, super charming. It's it's almost kind of a shame that Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is out this year because otherwise this might have been the clear favorite to win the Oscar this year. But I'm probably that's probably neither here nor there. So anyway, this was definitely a movie I wanted to add to my collection, but I had not been thinking about it very much. Well, on Christmas Day, my friend was mentioning that he really liked that movie himself, and the kids really loved it. So he was going to buy the Blu-ray, and he was not able to find the Blu-ray. He went on Amazon, he went on Best Buy, he went on Target, he, he could find it digitally, but was Marcel the Shell with shoes on? Boy, that's a tongue twister. Not available on physical media? Well, it turns out it is available on physical media. I've actually got it. Let's go over to the unboxing station, which is a fancy way of saying kitchen, and let's look at it and let's unbox it and then meet me back here we're going to talk about it and here it is marcel the shell with shoes on this is the 4k disc and it's exclusive at a24 store i really like the cover i love how the tootsie roll pop is a parachute and there's marcel and i like that they're giving credit to jenny slate as the actor she's the voice of marcel and i think that you know uh, voice actors kind of get a bad rap when it comes to celebrities voicing you know cartoon characters when they're done really well i think they deserve some credit so anyway the back of the case shows what the movie's about i really like this is kind of interesting packaging uh it's ca cardboard i i love that the that the barcode's on the side so that's especially ironic because since it's not being sold in an everyday store that this convenience scanner is not as necessary but it's kind of cool uh you have the special features here and you know the information on the uh it's interesting that the widescreen is 1.55 a very unique um aspect ratio so let's look at what the disc itself looks like and uh it's like always got to you know what i don't like to scratch the side of the box especially when it's cardboard so let's just snip the corner and there now we can just slip the rest of it off and going through here's the movie marcel is sitting on popcorn on the back there's marcel's house in the uh little plant tree and uh, oh this is a nice cute little that was almost perfect like so you have the little you know footprints coming across the disc that's really cool and obviously if you take it out there's the rest of it but this is one of those uh designs that it is absolutely worth um having it right side up in ultra hd yeah so it works pretty good now there's something in here can you put, okay you can push it out here this is a booklet it's almost like having a criterion collection so marcel the show with shoes on um storyboard oh so this is like storyboard experts from the movie these are really nice uh, animation brief experts and i'm looking forward to reading uh these these are visual effect and animator notes we have character art which is pretty cool then here's some of the live action sequence from the crew and things like that so yeah that's a oh <laughs> i like how the credits was this thing so yeah you give credit so yeah this is a very very nice set so let's put this back here uh, crap, that's not going in as easily as I would have liked it to. Let's put it... This is, a, I guess, a downside to this packaging. They really don't make it easy to put back in. Again, I really love that little touch. And, yeah, so there, we've uh, 
unboxed it, we've looked at it, now let's uh, talk about this a little bit. And so, as you can see, I have it in my hand. This is a 4K Blu-ray combo, does not come with a digital copy of any sort, which is kind of disappointing. I like having my digital copies, but I definitely would prefer to have it on physical media, and that's why I'm buying it. Now, for those of you wondering why you can't find it, I think I might have alluded to it while we were unboxing, but this is actually not being sold um, to any retailers. It's not on Amazon. It's not on. It's not Target. Not at Best Buy. I. Uh, this is being sold exclusively on A24's website. It's being sold direct to the consumer. And apparently, this is something that A24 has done before. Now, this is the first time I've encountered an A24 movie that I wanted to own. A24 does a lot of horror movies, and uh, you know, I like horror movies. I don't love them unless they're particularly great or something like that. And A24 decided this was one of the movies that they were going to sell directly to the consumer. Now, as a result, it's not exactly cheap. It does cost like $38 for the set, plus you got to pay taxes and shipping. And depending on what type of shipping you get, it could cost you somewhere between $47 and $65 for this one movie. Now, is Marcel the Shell with Shoes On worth um, $40? Well, I guess that's entirely up to you. I kind of live by the rule that you can't put a price on quality. I mean, I know you can, but if something is of exceptionally high quality and you really want to support more projects like that, then it is absolutely worth paying the money for. And the other thing about going direct consumer is that A24 basically has stated this is what they feel the movie is worth. And there's no guarantee that they will be making these physical copies forever. Whenever it's a direct-to-consumer disc, there's normally one to three runs of the disc, depending on how popular it is. They're selling direct-to-consumer because they don't think this is a title that they feel will sell enough copies to mass-produce. Therefore, they are selling it directly to consumer, and if we're lucky, they will make one print run. Just one. Uh, sometimes they will make a second and a third, but you know, they they do their research when they do things like this. They figure out what movies are going to sell well at a Target and a Walmart and which ones are not. And here's the thing. As much as I love this movie, and you absolutely should see it if you haven't seen it, it's a movie that did well for the specialty box office. It didn't do, like, Marvel numbers. It didn't do... I don't even think it did She Said numbers. I don't think it did any numbers. I think it made, like, less than 20 million something like that so it, it was okay it made money but they kind of took the pulse and it's like well the only people who really sought us out were the hardcore movie fans so let's just sell this to the hardcore movie fan base as well so that's why you can only get it at the a24 um store now and again if you really want it you might want to get it soon as for the disc itself, you know, this is a very well-made disc. It's one of the reasons why we like physical media. I already pointed out that it had, like, those little animatronic sketches in the booklet, which is um, definitely something you don't normally see for a standard Blu-ray or Ultra HD from any of the major studios, but it also has, like, a making a feature. It has the original YouTube shorts, commentaries, and uh, these are all good extras to have. Ironically, it does not appear to have the theatrical trailer. Theatrical trailers are kind of interesting to me because I don't really watch theatrical trailers before I see the movies, but after I see the movies, I'm usually curious to see how they tried to sell it. Usually it's a good reference point for my print review. So anyway, this does exist, but you are going to have to pay up the nose for it. And... Uh, you know, it's it's kind of an odd one because here's the thing. I do believe hardcore film fans will love this. I do believe it should be in most of your collections. But then, you know, my friend, when he found out how much I paid for it, you know, his kids are like grabbing discs and they're putting them in their mouth and, you know, discs get worn. It's like, uh, does he really want to pay $40 for a disc that's going to get shredded? He keeps his Criterion movies like in a locked uh, closet because the kids will just destroy them. So, yeah, that one you're going to have to decide on your own, especially when 
you know, most of your kids are probably watching Bluey anyway on Disney+. Plus. But I think it's a wonderful movie. It's definitely one of the best films of the year. Highly recommend you, at the very least, rent it on iTunes or something like that. And if you really like it and you want to see more movies like this get made, or in general, just buy, buy the physical media. And again, it's uh, probably not going to be in stock forever, so... You know, this might even serve as like a time capsule for when this eventually does go out of print. But anyway, I'd like to know, do you have this movie? What did you pay for it? Did you think it was worth it? Well, I guess it was worth it if you bought it. But what are your thoughts on the whole package, on the special features, things like that? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.